Hi, I'm Bon Lamb, and today I'm going to teach you how to make amazing homemade corn tortillas. We're going to start with masa harina. There's no subbing here. You can't use cornmeal. Corn tortillas rely on masa harina for their flavor. Mix two cups of masa harina, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of vegetable oil in a medium bowl. Now the vegetable oil is a non-traditional addition, but it makes the dough easier to work with. Next, add one and a quarter cups of warm tap water and stir to combine. Now it's time to get your hands dirty. Knead the dough until it's soft and tacky, but not sticky. Here's where you can add more water if your dough is a little too dry and crumbly. You're gonna to wanna to sprinkle one tablespoon at a time over the dough and knead it in until you get to a soft and tacky but not sticky texture. We're looking for something that feels kind of like Play-Doh here, so if you're not sure if you have the right texture, try making a Play-Doh bird. We're gonna cover this dough with a damp dish towel and let it sit for five minutes so that the masa harina can hydrate. Next, line a plate with two damp dish towels, and don't skip this step, this is essential. Finally, grab a zipper lock bag and cut down the seam on both sides. Trust me, the plastic release is even better than the traditional parchment. Okay, assembly line prepped. Let's get pressing. I'm gonna take one of these dough sections and roll it into a ball between the palms of my hands. And I'm gonna place that ball on the zipper lock bag, fold over the plastic, and press. Heat one teaspoon of vegetable oil until shimmering in a cast iron or nonstick skillet. Wipe that oil out with paper towels until there's just a thin film left on the bottom. Cook this tortilla for 45 seconds, and for those 45 seconds, we're not gonna touch it, not at all. The dough is really fragile at this point and prone to ripping or tearing if you disturb it. So after 45 seconds, that tortilla is gonna release all on its own without you touching it, and that means it's time to flip it over. You can use a nonstick spatula, or you could use skills. We're gonna let that tortilla cook for about a minute until the edges begin to curl, and we're gonna flip it again, and this time it's going to start to puff, and that's going to take about 30 seconds. Let's get this guy out of the skillet and between those two damp dish towels. Now, as we cook off more tortillas and add them to the stack, these tortillas are gonna steam themselves, and they're gonna finish cooking, become pliable, and stay moist. There are taco fillings at stake here. A brittle tortilla would be a disaster, and we can avoid it, so don't be lazy. Finally, time to enjoy that pliable, delicious homemade corn tortilla. Better than store-bought and easy. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you thought of this how-to in the comments. Be sure to check out the links in the video description and hit that subscribe button below.